Hello everybody, good afternoon. I hope you all had a very merry Christmas and let's hope Spenny Moore can bring some more festive cheer as Moore's host Darlington in one of the biggest games of the season here at the Brewery Field. Jonathan Burns' reign in charge has got off to the perfect start getting us through to the last 32 of the FA Trophy. Spenny Moore first make one change from the victory at Ratcliffe in the trophy which is a change in goal daily replacing Harry Flatter. So in a 4-2-3-1 daily is in goal. The back four, right to left, is Kenton Richardson, Joe Tate, Captain James Curtis, and Scott McLean. Two midfielders, Adrian Amoke and Jamie Chandler. Three in front of them, right to left, Ryan Hall, Rob Ramshaw, and Stephen Thompson. All behind, striker Glenn Taylor. He turns that one back to Chandler, first time to Tate, who's just forced backwards slightly, but he'll get there first. He wants a short option, which he gets down to Richardson. Bit of a heavy touch from Richardson. They want a handball, never going to get a handball for that. Richardson can, with a bit of composure, see onto Curtis, now into Moke. Shouts a man on. Moke tries to turn the ball forward, can't do so. Ricochet is off of uh, Pervert. And then he lays it onto Griffiths on the far side for Darlington. Down the line again, looking now for Charlie. He's turned really nicely there and plays the ball in towards the penalty area on that far side. Digs a shot out. In fact, it ricochets towards Charlie, who will try and get onto his right foot. Shot comes in, deflects behind for the game's first corner. Which gets a roar from the Spenny Moore, eh, from the Darlington fan, sorry over on the far side it's a bit of a cheap one in many ways it's, and it comes it's towards the six yard box a good looking ball headed towards goal it's in they leave on the floor but the referee says no foul and Darlington open a scoring not sure how they leave end up on the ground they think it was a foul the referee shook his head immediately and a header into what was essentially an, an empty net give Darlington the lead from I think it was number nine Luke Charman who gets his 10th of the season it's a very soft one we'll have to see it again to be sure whether there was or whether there wasn't a foul the foul throw as well nothing's given Smith gets the ball back Chandler jumps into the challenge and concedes another Darlington throw that was definitely a foul throw first time around let's see if he does it again George Smith here a lot of, lot of movement this one's a bit longer. Richardson, oh dear me. It's going to be a corner. That could have been a penalty, you know. And Dyson fans are furious with the referee. They are furious with him. They gather him around him. The ball back a little bit awkwardly for Richardson, who looked like he might inadvertently have took it down on his arm. The way a week or so ago, at a very young age. And um, now that applause, now I think everyone realising what it's for and it's met by all four corners of the ground and in fact by the players and the managers and the officials as well. They all just stop a minute with the ball being as a player essentially to free kick to spend more and just Jose can just wait before he takes it. Whether that's adjusting back to the new, or it's a different formation, what we've been playing most of the season, we've been playing that 5 3 2. Um, this is more the classic formation that we're used to seeing, really. But uh, it just hasn't clicked so far. That's a bad challenge on Glenn Taylor. A really bad challenge on Glenn Taylor. In fact, it was very high. Referee making sure he's all right. He's got the yellow card out of his pocket, trying to defuse the situation. I think it was a, an, an honest 50 50, but it was just a missed time 50 50. And I think the referee is going to decide it's going to just be a yellow card. I'd like to see that one back because that was high on Glenn Taylor who's, who rolled around a little bit. Seems to be in a lot of pain. He's now just... Free kick. Taylor was going to take it. Well, he, he will take it, but not before the wall. He's back to 10 yards away. It's laid to Taylor who shoots. It's not a bad one over the bar. Not too far away, maybe a yard or so. The keeper jumped across this near side right above the angle of post and bar. Rich onto his left foot. Cross comes in. Not a bad one. Headed away by Ellis towards halfway where Chandler should get there first and head it in towards Moke. Moke's took just about finds it back into Chandler. On towards Taylor. Can he get a shot away? Beats Ellis. Go down. Penalty. A definite penalty. Taylor put the ball onto his left foot. Sold Ellis. Who brought him down. Referee was immediate to that decision. Right, let's take a half time. 
A chance to equalise. No further action for Alice. No, no card of any colour. Ready for the whistle. Here he comes. Taylor scores. <laughs> Send the keeper the wrong way. Into the bottom left corner. Keeper's bottom left corner. Right second of half time in and a time. End of the first 45. Spenny more equalised. Taylor's 15th of the season in all competitions. A first half where Spenny more haven't created too many chances, but they're going to go in level at the break. What a piece. I guess the fans making some noise again. The long will fall onto this near side. Richardson wins the header. It's a good header. Back to Fafita Smith. Down the line looking for De Santos. Back to goal. Going to try and spin Tate. Can't do so. He's spun away from Richardson. Gives it into Grace Hall's child. Moko will get there first. He'll fizz it on towards Thompson. Who will jump into the fifth hit with Griffiths. And Thompson is off. Thompson going to get a red card. And Stephen Thompson is sent off against his former club. Right second like half time. It was a 50 50. Him and Griffiths jumped into it. And I do not know if that's the right decision. I would say no based on the challenge on Glenn Taylor earlier, which wasn't given. It was a 50 50. I don't think it's very high. <coughs> Referee was immediate to that decision. And Spennymore equalised in stoppage time and get down to 10 men in stoppage time. Thompson's second red of the season. Both of them were quite harsh. And Stephen Thompson is off against his former club. He's not happy with it. And I have sympathy with him. He's quite a long way from us. It's on the side of the, of the pitch to us. But in my opinion, that is never, ever a red card. Fourth forward to the feet, Ramshaw, he tries to volley forward towards Taylor, he could be in there, inside the penalty area, left foot shot, really, really good defending from Danny, from Danny Ellis. <laughs> so somehow get back when he was second favourite, jump in front of that ball and deflect it behind the goal band effort wide for another Spenny Moore corner, this time from this near side, Spenny Moore left. So I have a free kick just short of halfway, which is launched forwards by Richardson towards the edge of the box. Ellis wins the header in the wrong direction. Rivers should deal with it first. McLean is chasing him down, and Rivers will clear it down. He's done well actually there, Jared Rivers. Tate wins a really good header towards Taylor. Looks like he's onside. Inside the area, shoots towards goal, but drags it wide of the keeper's near post. It's a really good effort. The Dyerton defenders didn't all get out in time, and so Taylor was played on. And Tate's header over the top it was a really good one to put Taylor in. He got his hand in his hands. He knew that was a good chance. He just snatched at his shot and pulled it wider than near post. The keeper's right. One arm raised. Here comes the corner. It's into the middle. Curling effort towards the middle. It's over everybody. It evades everybody, but only just. It bounced two or three times on a six-yard box. It just needed a touch. Somehow it evades everybody. Ball is with Griffith, who volleys it downfield towards De Santos. I get it right now. He lays it back onto Lambert. Will he try a shot here? Onto his right foot. He will, I think. Oh, he comes back onto his left. Sell the few. Left foot shot comes in. Oh, it slips under the bar by Dale Eve. What a fantastic save. Backtracking into his own goal there. Just manages to tip it over the bar. He's gone down as well. He's injured himself. I think he collided with the post. That was a dipping effort from Lambert. And Dale Eve, who's hurt himself here, just managers. Two man wall. It's a tight angle. It's shot towards goal. Really good save from Dale Eve. Up for his top right corner. That was destined for the corner. The pace on that shot. They won the ball back though with Charman. In towards the penalty area. Good foot in. Good defending. Out for a corner. On the far side. Down looking for Ramshaw, headed clear by Smith. Richardson heads it back into the middle where Ellis is underneath that one with a towering commanding header. Curtis in return, 
Another bit of toing and throwing on between the two of them. Oh dear me, he just punched Kurt, hasn't he? That's got to be a red card for the Darlington man, surely. That's right in front of the referee. They were so close, like they wouldn't need the mistletoe then, the two of them. I mean, I've seen his scrap on the floor. Someone's got hit in the face. It's all just blown up completely. It looks like the referee's going to go his back pocket. Here. Surely, surely. He is off. It is a red card for Darlington's number nine. I think it's him anyway. Curtis is getting attention from the physio. There's five Darlington players hounding the referee. The hand on his shoulder. And now he's going to go across to Curtis, is he, as well? I'm not sure he is. It is Charman who's off, I think, isn't it? But I don't know whether we're done or not on the cards. Just a bit of a brawl on the, on the floor. Curtis won the header. Darlington fall to his foul wasn't given. Referees walk around in circles at the minute. It is the number nine. It is... No, there's not. That's a full-time whistle. It finishes one apiece on Boxing Day. A game which was full of action and drama, despite not being the best footballing match, shall we say. Bit of toing and throwing between the fans in the first half. May have overshadowed things, hopefully not. Both sides finished with 10 men. Stephen Thompson sent off, I think, incredibly harshly in the first half. Luke Charman sent off, I think, much less harshly in the second half. It looked like he threw a punch on James Curtis after he himself opened the scoring from a corner in the first opening quarter of an hour before Taylor equalised for the penalty spot in first half stoppage time. An interesting one, intriguing one. You expect nothing less from a game like this between Spennymore and Darlington. In less than a week, we do it all again. <laughs>